Welcome, survivors, to Mikey's Gaming Oasis, and thank you for joining us for our continued series on the cosmetic skins available in Ark Survival Ascended. In this series, sorry, in this episode, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. As you know, in the previous episodes, we have graded every skin that we've looked at in three categories, ease of use, paintability, and aesthetics, where each one can give the creator up to five points per category, giving them a total of 15. In this video, we are not going to be grading these cosmetics as they don't all fit into that categories to be fair to the creators. We're going to be reviewing six skins in this video. The six skins are the Arcadian Structure skin, the Architect's Paradise skin, the Klinger Skin Cosmetics for Troughs, the Japanese Style Structures, the Lit Laser skin, and the shanty town tile set please if you like this content and you want to stay up to date with mikey's gaming oasis whether it's for the building or for the cosmetics or the gaming news please ensure you like and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell it really does help a small channel like mine and without further ado let's get started the first skin we're looking at the arcadian crafting structure skin i have put in this beautiful testing area this mod set comes with two different icons, the Arcadian Furniture and Crafting Station skin or tiles. They both go into your hotbar. The Arcadian Furniture skin gives us the ability to put these two skins on walls, which are a fence and a grass fence, which allows us to make a nice garden-esque area, which I think is a lovely touch and something I haven't seen in a while. Our cooking or industrial cooker, due to the crafting station set, turns into this rugged, almost survivor-esque uh, cooking station. The, these two skins give us three different options on our fireplace. You, the le these two right here come with the furniture skin. The one on the right comes with the crafting station skin. If we move over here, you have your industrial grill, which again, on the right is your furniture skin. On the left is your crafting station skin. That gives you a different look for both of them. Here we have our smithy. On the left, you see the furniture skin option. The middle two are your two options in the crafting station skin pack. One gives you a kind of a rugged look and the other one gives you a more industrial look for your smithy now here you have your options for both of these skins for your water reservoirs uh, the crafting station skin does give you the option to increase to have the version 2 which is larger and both of them give you the option to increase or decrease the size now here we have the furniture station skin for your both type of lights gives you an industrial look Next, we have the beds. You have your bunk bed and your regular bed, which the skins can be found in the furniture set. As you can see, they give a very distinctive look. And with the regular bed, you do have a variant that gives you the uh, hammock as well. On the tables and the benches, they are also found in the furniture set. And in this, when it comes to the tables, you have three options for your visuals. You have this standard default bench. You have the option version two, which is a love seat, and you have option version four or five, rather, that is a covered seat. Next, we have your fabricator. The skins for the fabricator is are found in the workstation skin, which gives you the or sorry, crafting station skin, which give you this industrial, more industrial, dirty look to your fabricator. I think it's amazing. It looks more modern. Then we have the chem bench. Now, the chem bench skins can be found in both the furniture skin and the crafting station skin. The crafting station skin is on your right side. The furniture skin is on your left. Next, we have the grinder. The grinder skin can be found in the crafting station skin. It gives that more industrial look as well, kind of like something you would find in a modern scrapyard, uh, which... I think gives a little more flavor to it. Then you have your industrial forge, which gives you the look of a quad stack of 
induction forges, which I think is absolutely amazing. Then you have your refining forge, gives you an old school look with the, I can't remember what it's called, but it gives airflow to it, the blower or whatever. Then you have your refrigerators. You have on the right side, you have the furniture skin uh, set example. And on your left side, you have the, in, the crafting station skin set. Then you have also in the crafting station skin, you have your feeding troughs. It gives you two options for it, which I think they are both absolutely gorgeous. Uh, then they, the thing is with this, they only work on your standard feeding troughs. They do not work on your uh, tech feeding troughs. So keep that in mind. Then we'll move over to the generator. The generator gives you that uh, that camping ask or emergency wheelie generator look, which I think is absolutely cute. It does have no variants, but that's okay because I think that's one of the only one you need. It's absolutely hilarious, in my opinion, the way it looks. Kind of gives that trailer park esque look to the whole thing. It's amazing. Then we have your preserving bin. Your preserving bin, of course, is found in your crafting station uh, skin as well. Then your small box is skins are found in both the furniture and the crafting station. Then on neither one of these skins work on your barrels, but they do work on your libraries. On the far right, you have the furniture station skin. On your far left, you have the crafting station skin. And then if we go over to our bookshelves, it's the same thing. You have the generally the same look right here on our tall storage containers. Sorry for the jumpiness there. I can't seem to control my fingers well today. You have your furniture station on the right and your fabrication on your left. Then we go to the vault. There is only one version of the vault and that is found in your crafting station uh, tile set or skin set. Then there is the wind turbine. The wind turbine, I love what he did with this. It gives you a modern wind turbine look. It also has multiple variations where you can turn them into trees. So if you have a wind turbine and you don't want everybody to know that it's there, you have the option to turn it into a lovely cherry blossom or another type of tree. Keep in mind, he does have another mod that goes along with this that changes it into other trees as well. That is also free. Unfortunately, none of these skins work on tech. So our items we set up for tech just get to sit there and look pretty as tech items. So our second mod that we're going to be looking at is the Lit Lasers mod by Roab. Now, this is the first mod that falls into the category for why we are not grading these as it does not fit into our standard grading categories. This skin has three skins to it where they are, as soon as I find them here, the horizontal laser wall, the vertical laser wall, and the laser emitter skin. Now the laser emitter skin is gonna be fun, so pay attention to that one. As you can see, when you attach the skins, they do go into your hot bar, which makes them a lot easier to use. So let's get into this. As you can see, the vertical and horizontal beam walls do exactly what the title of them say. They attach to any standard wall. Now you can change the settings in these. You can change the laser color, the laser intensity, as well as the laser thickness. Now, you can go from thin, thick, you can go to dim it, you can make it brighter. You can also change the colors. You can change the colors by their region, but you can change it into a blue, into a green, as well as a white and the standard red. The horizontal is the same way. You can do that with all three of these skins. Now, the emitter skin, the third one, you have to have the small decor box. Once you place down your small decor pop box, you can then place the emitter. Now, the emitter is special. While you do have that nice tall beam, you also can set it on a wall and do some fun things with it. I have two emitters set up here, but I will be removing one here shortly. You have one that's hidden and one that's visible. That's one difference between the, the emitter and the walls. You can hide it. This one, you can change. You can also change the X and Y axis to change the direction in which the beams go. 
It has the adjustment wheel of one increment where it just moves at one, five with the double plus or double minus, or the 15 with the triple plus or triple minus signs. As you see, it changed the elevation of that beam. You can also change the color, just like in the last one. You can hide the emitter or show the emitter. Then you can add bounces. This is the one that I find absolutely fun. As you add the bounces to it, it'll bounce off the walls as many times as as many bounces as you put in there. Now, when you place the emitter straight up, one of the fun things you can use it for is to help people find your base location. So you place that emitter going straight up, make it a white beam, a red beam, a blue beam, whatever color beam you want to tell where your base is. So our next mod pack that we are going to be looking at is the Architects Paradise from the Benzo Miners mods. Now the Architects Paradise mod pack comes with seven skins. Keep in mind with this skin set, when you apply it to your structure skin set adapter or icon, you can it does not go to your hot bar. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go back to your inventory, into your cosmetics, and find the skin from there to be able to apply it. So as you can see, we have the first four set up for this. You have the dark marble. It works on almost all of your standard structures. It does not work on the trap doors, the doorways, or the ladders. It also does not work on your behemoth gates or your dino gates, as well as your cellar doors or the platforms, either your tree platforms or your cliff platforms, unfortunately. So... First, let's look at the clear glass mod, which gives a lovely look where everything is transparent. It is a lot of fun if you want to set up a maze. I'm just saying it's a hint for something that's coming later. At the end of this month, you might want to catch it. Next, we're going to look at the clean tile mod. It gives that nice white tile look, and it kind of bright, but it's a lovely mod. It's very gorgeous skins. Then we have the fine wood skin, which gives that polished wood veneer look to all of your parts. So what you see here are your last three skins for this mod. We're going to start all the way on the left side, just as we did before, with the laminate skin. Now the laminate skin gives that laminate wood veneer finish with a nice white look. As you see, it works on all the same structures. Then we have the modern brick, which gives a nice shiny brick veneer look, as well as the last and final one in this mod pack, which is the wallpaper looks. Gives this nice white textured look to your skin, to your structures, making it look almost like it's stucco, like white stucco has been placed on it. They are all, in my opinion, very beautiful mods, and they go well together, and I think they are a great addition to any mod pack or build. So the next skin we're going to be looking at is from Klinger Martins. It's the Klinger Skins Cosmetic Special for your troughs. This skin pack comes with 12 different skins for your feeding troughs specifically. And yes, it does work on both the standard feeding trough and the tech feeding trough. Each one of these come with, there's four different looks with three different variants in each look. Each variant comes with a meat, a veggie, and a fish look. I have selected the industrial look here as an example. Now with this, what it does is it gives you a visual representation of how much stuff you have in your feeding trough. So if I, I throw some meat in here, it's going to give us a representation of having meat in there. When it's empty, it gives us nothing but bones. So that, uh, I think it'll help us in identifying when our troughs need to get some stuff added to it. At the same time, it allows those of us who are kind of anal retentive about uh, where all of our stuff goes and making sure we have the right items in the right feeding troughs to give a representation of what we want in that feeding troughs to our tribe mates to help them as well. So here is your veggie look right here, which again, it doesn't matter what's in there, it just shows that there is stuff in there. So you can give that nice visual 
I think it's absolutely amazing. And I think Klinger did a great job making it available to both the uh, standard and the tech troughs. Now, keep in mind, just like most of Klinger's skins, you have to go into your cosmetics tab to access it. Now, our next skin that we're going to be looking at is the Japanese style skin by Lettuce Fry 1234. This skin is unique as it has structure skins as well as uh, cosmetic skins or decor skins that go with it. And each one is a little different, makes it a little clunky, but it is still a fun skin that can give flavor to your build. Now, as you see here, this skin has eight different components to it a tatami mat, a rice wall a futon or table skins it's got a skin for your roof it's also got a pillow a fireplace a sign and a vegetable skin or fruit as you can see once we apply this skin it does go into our hot bar which makes it easier to use so the first skin we're going to look at is the tatami mat skin with the tatami mat you can go into the skin settings and you can rotate it to make it line up and look like one solid piece like this that goes on your foundations and your ceiling tiles the next is the roof the tiled roof skin now this is unique as it only works on your wooden roofs it does not work on any of the other roofs the other way that this is unique is that it doesn't really change the roof itself it more or less sits on top of it as an addition to the uh wooden roof it's kind of weird that way but it works then you have the rice wall rice paper walls sorry as well as the four signs that go on your decor box you go into the radio wheel and you can change what the signs say in kanji and they're all different dinos then you have your tables which is one with and one without a heating pad. You also have your seating pads that you can't sit on that are used the decor boxes to attach to, and your fruit bowl that uses the decor box as well. The last thing we have in this set is your fireplace. Now this sits on your fire pit and turns it into this beautiful uh, spacious fire pit skin, which is absolutely gorgeous. While this is a very simple set, I feel that it can add a nice variant into someone's build and give a nice zen feel to it. So the final skin that we're going to look at today is the Shantytown Tile Set by Snap-In. This tile set gives us two skins. The skins that it provides to us are the shanty metal structures as well as the wood metal structures. Now, when we attach these skins, it does not go to a hot, our hot bar, so we have to go through the cosmetics tab to use them. They work on all your structure, your basic structures to include the cellar doors and your dino and behe gate. What you see here is the metal version of it. Here is the wood version of that same set. As you notice, the cellar doors are exactly the same as on the metal set. That is not an error on my part. That is how it looks in the pack, which is fine because it still gives that nice rustic feel and apocalyptic feel of this map pack. So what you see here are the two skins. You have the shanty metal skin, like as I said, works on all your basic structures except for your ladder and your platforms. They do not work on your cliff platforms or your tree platforms. That goes for both of these skin sets. As you see, it works on all your walls, all your stairs, as well as your doors as, and your trap door as well. Now, what I love about this look is there it's very Rusk S or post-apocalyptic survival. Uh, I would not say that it would pass the visual inspection from the ocean inspector, I'm just saying, it's kind of rough, but it is very unique and beautiful, and I think the mod creator did an amazing job on this set in the metal one. And right here, we have the Shanty Wood set. The only issue I see with this wood set is the uh, trap door here. It has a slight visual issue that I think the mod creator 
will know about once I post it in their Discord and hopefully they can fix it. It may just be an issue with an update. Again, this set does not work on your stairs or your cliff platforms and tree platforms. It does work on all your other basic structures, such as your thick pillars and thin pillars. With the wood set, if you have one of those tribe mates who likes everything all nice and neat and in order, I would definitely recommend using it as it would probably drive them a little bonkers as it makes everything look slightly askew. Anyways, thank you all for joining us for this episode and we hope to see you in the next one. Now remember, leave a comment below for what mods you would like to see reviewed and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more Ark Survival Ascended content.